What's up everyone, this is just a quick tutorial of showing you how to uh, use custom textures within Dark Souls. So the first thing you're going to need is DS Fix 1.2. If you don't have this already, I can highly suggest it. I'll put a link down below in the description and make sure you get at least version 1.2. If you don't have 1.2, you won't have the function for texture overrides and texture dumping. So take all the files in here and dump them in your Nam Namco Bandai Games Dark Souls folder. Once they're in here, open up dsfix.ini and there's a load of options in here, you can change them to what suits you best but the ones that I'm going to focus on are the texture override options. So the first is texture dumping. What this does is when you load an area in the game or when you load a save basically, all the textures that are loaded will be dumped into this folder, dsfix text override and then the name of the texture .tga. So if you want to create custom textures, for example, reskinning a shield or changing the icons uh, and you don't know where to start, the first thing you want to do is turn this to 1 so that whenever you load an area, everything's dumped. Then down here, the texture override, what this does is it takes any pictures that are put within this texture override file any uh, textures that have the same, the correct file name will be loaded instead of the files that are in the actual game files. So you need to set that for one, to 1 in order to actually load the custom textures. So once those are both set, you need to exit out of that. And in the, link down, in the description box down below, I'll put a link to this. This is a very basic um, texture. All it does is change the default Xbox buttons to PlayStation control buttons. So if, like me, you play with a PlayStation controller, you know, this is something that would be really nice to have. So what you have to do is you have to just basically copy and paste it into the texture override folder. Make sure that the file name is correct. Um, when you rip a texture in the texture dump, it will be given a file name. You need to make sure when you put it into the override it has the same file name but is in a transparent PNG rather than a TGA otherwise it won't be able to load it. So once you've done both of those things you've got your files in the texture override you just go ahead and you start Dark Souls. Now if you want to rip your own textures you saw that, that folder earlier that had all the TGAs in it what you do is you open those in Photoshop, you edit them to be whatever you want them to be, and then you save them as transparent P PNGs. Uh, once you've saved it, make sure that the file name is correct, as I said just before, um, and then it should just get loaded into the game whenever you start it, as long as you put it in the right place. So as you can see down at the bottom there, there's uh, the custom PlayStation um, icons. And as I load into the game, there you go, PlayStation icons are still intact. So you can do this with any texture, you can replace item icons, you can replace wall textures, you can replace anything basically. So yeah, go out there, open up Photoshop, open up GIMP, start editing, and make sure you post whatever wonderful things you manage to create. Alright everyone, take care.